Hey, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we attempt to get all the aspirations, all the milestones, all the skills, all the jobs, all the degrees, and everything that we can possibly do with a single sim. Now last time we got all of the infant milestones except for Learn to Wave. And I thought that that was a fine, well, it, it is actually a fine motor skill. And I thought that I could get it by playing with the toys like all of the other fine motor skills. But no, this particular one, as I suspected, is more social. So she actually needs to interact with other people. And I have discovered the child sims have an entertain ability that actually gets the social milestones much quicker than the adult interaction. So Megan has followed us back to the rainbow house and we are just waiting for Carla to wake up. Okay, now that Carla is awake, we'll change her diaper and feed her. And we'll have Megan entertain Carla. She blows a raspberry and puts her thumbs out at the side of her head. Okay, she gets this find Kathy and oh, she wanted to be put in the crib? Why? I thought she was going to wave at her. Fine, take a nap. Oh look, the welcome wagon is welcoming us back to the rainbow house. Oh, she scooted over. I think she's getting the milestone now. Okay, that was weird. She scooted back and forth, but yes, she got the wave milestone. Okay, so we have learn to wave, learn to clap, learn pincer grasp. Put toe in mouth, learn to grab, learn to reach, and that's all of the fine motor. First, survived seven nights in a haunted house, first trip to a park, first vacation, first finger food, first visit to a family member's home, peed on caregiver, first visitors, first baby food, slept through the night, first bath, first bubble bath, and first diaper blowout. Gross motor, learn to dance, pull to stand, learn to crawl, learn to creep, learn to sit up, rolled over to tummy, rolled over to back, lifted head. Life, we were born at a hospital. Social, we learned peekaboo, learned to blow a kiss, learned to blow raspberry, said first word, learned to babble, learned to laugh, learned to coo, first smiled. So I think that is everything as long as James Turner's website has all of the milestones. I'm pretty sure that we figured them all out by now, at least for the infants. So that means we can have a birthday party for Carla, and now Carla is going to be a toddler. And we'll just invite a few of the sisters and other relatives. Well, this is it, Carla. Time to stop being an infant and to be a toddler. Happy birthday, Carla! You're about to be a toddler. As long as you can actually age up, we'll see. Okay. Now, I know that independent is normally good because they can use the potty by themselves, but I think she might actually gain skills faster if she's clingy. Okay, I think we'll try clingy, even though I really like independent because she can just use the potty. We'll use clingy anyway. And happy birthday, Carla. I do not like that haircut. It makes her look like a little boy. Okay, everybody come get a piece of cake. And they're all just howling at each other. Oh, this is annoying having a pack of werewolves. Okay, Carla came out here to eat her cake by herself. All right, we had our piece of cake. We're talking with our friends and our family. But I think we're going to call this quits because it is gold already. I don't need to do anything. And then we're going to give Carla a makeover. Everybody go home. In order to have a nightmare, we're going to make a thunderstorm so that maybe Carla will get scared because otherwise it's not very likely that she's going to have a nightmare. Okay, now she's scared, and now we have her sleep outside, because unfortunately that's the only way that I can get her to be scared enough to have the scared emotion, the most dominant one. No, don't go inside. You have to go to sleep. Oh no, she got so many happy buffs now, and she's not scared. Okay, let's try that again. She doesn't like wake up time. Okay, that's good. Okay, she didn't have a nightmare. Oh, yes, she did. Okay, she had a nightmare. 
Did we get the milestone? Okay, it says Carla had a nightmare, but I don't think she got it. I feel cheated. Okay, now she had a nightmare. She got the mood lit. So hopefully we will get the milestone this time. Yes, she had her first nightmare. All right, let's get something to eat. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. We need her to throw a tantrum to get a milestone, but unfortunately, she's a clingy toddler. I completely forgot I shouldn't have made her clingy or angelic because they only get very, very sad when they get hungry or dirty, sleepy, or something like that. But I need her to be angry. Now, fortunately, she did get the hates wake up time quirk, which gives her an angry plus two. And I think she'll also get another angry plus two if she sleeps in the tent and someone wakes her up via being a monster. But look at all these happy buffs. This is happy plus five. I'm not going to be able to get the angry buff with her. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get Carla angry. And one of the things that can get Sims angry is wet laundry. I've also turned off the tidy home benefit and all the toddler skill benefits because they just go by too fast. I think that I want to make sure that I get all the milestones first. Okay, she did her shapes, but she did not get credit for it. Oh, she did get credit for it. Okay, um, I'm not sure when she gets a milestone anymore. I guess they don't do the thing when they zoom in when you get the milestone. Okay, she has this new fang pain from being a small werewolf. That's good. We might be able to get angry up, but unfortunately, instead of getting an angry buff for the clothing, I got a happy buff. The clothing was wet that I took out, and I didn't get credit for the wet clothing. So if you go sleep in the tent, you can actually get an angry buff if a adult comes and wakes you up by playing as a monster. Plus, she doesn't like wake up time. Oh no, who started a fire? Oh, I wanted to make a grand meal and I completely forgot that I have the cursed lot trait on because I wanted her to have the chance to get the voodoo pain, which also makes you angry. Whoops. So now we have a fire. Extinguish the fire. Don't just sit there. So here comes Kathy to wake her up and play as a monster. It looks so funny, actually. Oh, it still isn't enough angry. There's too many happy buffs on there. Oh, come on. Don't use your diaper. You need to be potty trained. And she's not even angry for very long. That didn't last more than 30 some minutes. Okay, some of her happy buffs are wearing off. She gets this trusting the universe from the top notch trait. It's from being a top notch infant. And she also has clean clothing. And she keeps getting adoring moodlets from being around Lily. So I have to try and keep her away from Lily for a little while. Oh, she even walks past her. And she gets that buff. That is so annoying. Okay, what if we made Lily go upstairs for a little while? And we just had Kathy take care of Carla. I'm not sure if I can make Carla mad by yelling at her, but maybe I should try it. Oh, yes, actually that works. Now she goes to sleep in the tent and I play as a monster. I should be able to get angry three, which will override the, well, it's going to be the same thing unless she gets the angry buff for also being woken up. Oh, finally, she's angry. Oh, for only a second. You can only throw a tantrum as a toddler if you are angry. Okay, I won't make you angry anymore, Carla. I'm sorry I had to be mean to you. We just needed you to be angry for a little bit. Okay, and she got through a tantrum. I went ahead and turned on the tiny home and all the bonuses because I think it'll be okay now. I also have aging back on and on normal lifespan because unfortunately I could not get all of the infant milestones in time and there's no way to reset an infant's age. But for toddlers, I think it'll be easy to get all of them. Okay, as soon as we reached thinking level three, we need to learn numbers from flashcards because if you skip any of these, it won't be available at later stages. <laughs> oh, and she doesn't want to do it. All right, okay, we can be permissive. I guess we have to wait until this interaction completes for her to get the milestone. Okay, we didn't actually have to wait for it to completely complete, but it had to go mostly the way around. So we got studied numbers. We can stop this now. And we made a ham dinner for Harvest Fest. 
And we got level three of communication. Okay, and so that was her learn to talk milestone. And now she has potty level two. What? How can she put a plate inside of there? Okay, for motor, we have learned to walk and learn to climb stairs. Now, for those of you that don't know, there is a current bug with the movement skill. Unfortunately, the toddlers only get the milestones when they get a level in movement. And she ages up from an infant with movement skill level two. So she misses the first two milestones. So what you can do to fix that is you can either cheat the milestones once you reach level five, or you can reset her movement skill back down to level one and then increase it to level one and then level two and then level three. And then that way she actually gets the milestones when she should. Okay, one of the other milestones that we need to do is we need to adopt a pet. And I assume they mean cat or dog, but although maybe horse counts, but I'm going to get a cat or a dog. Maybe I should pay the bills also. And Wolfie looks cute. Why don't I get her? I guess that means we'll have to get a dog bowl and maybe a dog bed. And there's Wolfie. And we have adopted a pet. Now the best way to get thinking skill is to have the toddler watch someone, preferably someone who is standing still, because you can just spam it. But unfortunately you have to pause the game in order to do this, because as soon as she starts watching, that option will disappear. Okay, and I think her last quirk is that she loves books, because she kept trying to ask her caregivers to read her a book and I kept stopping her. So we'll just go ahead and get that last quirk and a little bit of imagination skill. And then we probably need to take a nap because we're already a little bit tired. And she got potty level three. That was easy. We'll go ahead and get the ask why milestone. This is one of my favorite interactions because if you spam it, the adult gets upset. See, she's not happy. Now, if you didn't know, the best place to have your toddler sleep is in a tent, any tent. But this one in particular is a little bit better than the other ones because the children and the toddlers can play in the other tents. And when they're playing in the tent, you cannot sleep in it. However, this one allows one child to play and the other child to sleep right next to them. Just make sure you do select sleep instead of nap because nap will only get you one up arrow, but sleeping in a tent gets you two up arrows. And that's the best way to increase toddler energy, except for the high chair. I forgot, the high chair actually gives you three up arrows. The only thing is you have to get an adult to put you in the high chair and then make sure you don't throw a tantrum about being stuck inside. Oh, and you also have to turn off all music in the area because you can't nap when they're listening to the music. Okay, if I send them both to sleep, maybe they won't take her out. Oh, the stupid dog is waking me up. Okay, we'll go ahead and take Lily to an art museum because actually we also need to take Kathy so that we can send Carla to daycare. Oh, look, there's some elders. Maybe I should get rid of my fear. Hi, Agnes. Fancy meeting you here. Okay, that did not count as going to to daycare. I think it's because I went to another lot. So I think they have to go to work, which is unfortunate, which means I have to get them jobs. Okay, it's Tuesday. What job goes to work relatively soon on a Wednesday? Sure, an athlete is fine. Okay, and Lily has to be an engineer because unfortunately it seems like she starts a couple of levels ahead in the careers. And the best way to get imagination skill is to play in this tent. I wonder if you get the art appreciation by talking about art. No, it doesn't look like it. Although it says that I can read a book now. Maybe that's what I have to do. Okay, apparently you can actually get first fire as a toddler. I forgot that we had a fire in this house because I was trying to make her angry and the stove caught on fire. It's probably also able to be obtained when you're an infant, but it's okay that we got it a little bit late because it wasn't on the list. James Turner put that on the list. Okay, we finished reading our book and we got the red first book milestone. I think we'll work on communication next. And the best way to do communication is to talk to a stuffed animal. You would think it would be talking to a parent, but no, it's much better to talk to a stuffed animal. And we maxed communication. 
Okay, I think she was just humming row, row, row your boat as she was going potty. That is really weird. Okay, we learned to dance with movement level three. Okay, it counts with playing with others if you play with a dollhouse, even if it's an adult. But we'll go back to the tent in order to max our imagination skill. And that was quick. Okay, now that she has mastered imagination, she can actually view paintings. And I think that's how you get the art appreciation milestone. Yes, that's how you do it. Now we have to do thinking in movement. And that's about it. I didn't notice that this painting is not even finished. How could she view it when it wasn't finished? No, not flashcards. You're watching. And we maxed the thinking skill. Okay, now we can learn letters. Even though we're max thinking skill, we'll have to learn letters at least once. And we studied letters. Okay, that's enough of that. And she's actually angry. That's amazing. In order to get our movement skill up really fast, we'll do take our clothes off, which makes us energized. And then we'll go slide on the slide. This will make movement skill go up so fast. It's almost time to go to daycare. Movement skill level four. She gets about 35% every time she goes down the slide. And this should be her last time down the slide. Yeah, she maxed the movement skill. Okay, and there is all of her motor skills. So the only milestones we have left to get are first childhood friend and first time at daycare. And she still has five days until she ages up. So it's really easy to get all of the toddler stuff done. We'll just go to bed right now while we're waiting to go to daycare. Okay, we're sending her to daycare. And she's back from daycare. All right, the only one that we have left is the first childhood friend, but it's not the first friend. It's just make a new friend because look at all the friends that she already has. So what I'm going to do is plan a stay over and invite over some of the relatives that she doesn't know yet. And we'll just pick one random toddler and one random child. All right, let's meet Colleen. Wow, that was really quick. One of the benefits of being in a tiny home is that you immediately become friends with anybody you talk to. Okay, I don't see her getting the first childhood friend milestone, though. Why is she angry? Okay, Olive is actually one of Carla's sisters. So maybe it won't count if they become friends. Yes, and Colleen is her sister, too. That might be a problem. Yeah, it's so annoying that her friends don't count because they're her sisters. So I guess I'm going to invite Agnes over, maybe? Aw, so cute. She really likes Colleen, too. Hi, Agnes. Could you have picked a worse place to talk? Can we talk over here? Let's give Agnes a hug. No, she doesn't want to give a hug. Okay. And she doesn't like jokes. I know that. So we should avoid jokes. Okay, maybe if we talk about things that are just random. Okay, Agnes counts. And <laughs> Agnes is her first friend. I love that for her. Let's go play dolls, Agnes. Okay, for milestones, we have studied letters, max thinking skill, art appreciation, maxed imagination skill, asked why, studied numbers, studied shapes. And for first, we have first time at daycare, first read book, mastered potty training, through a tantrum, first fire, first nightmare. Uh, note to James Turner to add first fire to the available toddler and probably infant milestones. Life, we have adopted pet and celebrated a birthday. Motor, we have max movement skill, learn to run, learn to dance, learn to climb stairs, learn to walk. Social, we have first childhood friend, played with others, max communication skill, and learn to talk. For all of the toddler skills, we have level five and then level three in potty. So that's it for toddlerhood. I mean, that was easy. I didn't even have to have aging off like I had to do for infants because it is impossible, even on long lifespan, to get all of the infant milestones. Maybe if you're extremely lucky and you know what you're doing, <laughs> 
Uh, I didn't know uh, on a couple of them how to get them. So there's no way I could have gotten the infant ones on time. However, toddler is easy. And then when she's a child, we can actually age her down or reset her life stage for childhood. And there are several ways to do that. You can even do it with just satisfaction points. So that'll be pretty easy. So we'll take a poop. It's kind of funny. She keeps taking a feral poo because she's a werewolf. But we're going to have to solve that when she becomes a teen. Okay, we'll go ahead and have her birthday party. I just want to make sure that we get everything ready first. And we're going to actually save this version of Carla out so that you can play with her if you want to. I think I already have a version with her just aged up to toddlerhood. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But I'm definitely going to have one with all of her milestones and skills completed. Let's try to get rid of this permissive relationship and make sure it's actually a supportive one. Oh no, she doesn't want any more kisses. All right, this isn't working. I'm going to have to do this at a later time. Oh, we haven't done the toddler play date yet. Okay, maybe we should try to get gold on that before we age up. And we can actually invite four of them over. Oh, look, it's Julie. We actually don't even know her. And we have Bridget, Colleen, and Pola. Stop picking me up. I want to meet my friends. Put me down, Kathy. It's going to be so much better when she's not a toddler or infant and she can't be picked up anymore. For some reason, adults will just randomly pick her up. No, stop picking me up. Put me down. And that was gold on the play date. All I had to do was the main goal. I think it's because Lily is like global superstar so anytime I have any sort of social event I don't have to do any of the goals she's also max charisma I believe oh no only level five charisma so I don't know why it must be the fact that she is a global superstar because it's just immediately gold as soon as I finish the main goal okay now we can have her birthday at midnight and our prize was this huge toddler thing that we had already which was 5,000 simoleons so yeah there's a perfect rags to riches toddler play dates for 5,000 simoleons each if you're a global superstar all right so now we can try a birthday party all right let's blow out the candles Carla and things work out so much better if you just wait for everyone to gather around before you have her blow out the candles otherwise no one's here to see it and there they go all howling. Okay, now she's a child. This is tricky. I have to actually pick a trait that is going to follow her for the rest of her life. Well, I guess we could change traits. The only thing is I really love proper because you have an easier time with friendly and romantic socials, but you also can't do certain mean things. You can't even start a fight. So that's going to block certain aspirations so we can't get that one a lot of these traits actually don't have any benefit whatsoever all they do is give you slightly better buffs uh, I guess klepto actually gives you the ability to steal and geek allows you to find more objects so those are big ones genius is also sort of good because it sometimes gives you a skill boost but I think I'm going to go with geek and aspiration, it doesn't matter which one we choose first. So maybe we'll just do them in order. Let's pick creativity. And happy birthday, Carla. So now you're a child. All right, now that she's a child, everyone can go home. All right, now that we're inspired, let's draw two pictures. I think some people decided to stay after the birthday party was over and stick around and play badly played violin music for some reason. Level four of the creativity skill. Okay, this is going to be really quick. And there's level five of the creativity skill. Okay, it looks like everybody's starting to head home now. And there's the first aspirational step completed. Now for playing with toys, we'll play with emotion because we actually need to try and get all of the character values as well. And character values are kind of hard to raise. So I think that's going to be the only challenge of being a child. I can also raise them when I'm a teenager, but it's a lot harder because there's not as many things that you can do. 
Okay, now we just need to play instruments for five hours, draw all five picture types on the activity table, and achieve level 10 creativity skill, which we're already level 7, so we don't even have to pay attention to that. Now, I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to sleep, or if I want to try and use potions to get through all of my needs right now. Okay, she cannot drink magical potions, which I kind of suspected, because you can't drink them until you're at least a teenager. But she can drink the Celebu serums. And I have five sleep ones. I might as well use it. Okay, we start out sounding really, really bad, but this is going to go pretty fast. She's also gaining violin skill like crazy. Wolfie aged up, and now he's an adult dog. Hooray for Wolfie. And that was five hours. Now I have to pee. Oh, hey, Carla. I'd, we'd love to have you join the Eternals. What do you think? Oh, the Eternals is the club that I set up in the beginning when I was trying to learn how to paint really fast. Sure. I can take over this club. It takes so long to draw all these pictures. Especially when people keep talking to me. Go do something else, Kathy. And there we go. Aspiration achieved. She's an artistic prodigy. Next up, mental. Okay, we need a chess table. Do we have a chess table? I'm thinking no, I don't have a chess table. Okay, so we should get one that kind of matches up to one of these colors. I like putting the colors out here. I also need to get some more lights. For some reason, the floor is all lit up, but none of the objects are lit up, and that just annoys me. So let's start our games of chess. She actually gets the logic skill while playing, and she has level three of the mental skill. I think maybe we'll go for the bladder failure and the energy failure and just let her pass out and pee her pants first. Gaining skills is just not going to be hard at all. Lenard! Huh? And <laughs> that's so funny. Your sims can actually cheat at chess if they're not very good. Okay, notes. They prefer to read to each other on these couches or benches. They don't like doing it at a table and chairs for some reason. Oh, and she passes out. Okay. Well, there's the first energy failure. In order to make her pee her pants quicker, all you have to do is just make them drink water and they'll pee their pants right away. And that's all it took. One sip and she pees her pants. Sorry, Carla, but that's a milestone. I think it's better to have those milestones as a child anyway, because losing your bladder control, that should mostly be a child thing. Maybe elder, but definitely not a young adult or adult. And that's it. Now we do have to finish homework two times while focused, which will be kind of difficult since we can only do regular homework and not extra credit. But we'll just have to wait until after we go to school for the first time. Now, as far as getting focused, there's actually a Celebu serum for that. And that's finishing it one time while focused. Well, we'll have to switch to a different aspiration for now. Let's work on the motor one, which means we have to go back to being playful. Okay. What about social? We'll work on that one until this one wears off in three hours because we're focused plus 100. We cannot be playful like that. Oh, look, there's some people walking by. It must be one of our sisters or maybe cousin. I don't really remember. Why, hello, Nash. Okay, we've got to meet two more people. Oh, look, it's someone who's not related to us. And we met five people. Now we need to make a best friend. Let's become best friends with mom. Well, that was easy. Maybe we should just finish this one instead of going to the other one. Okay, that counts as one child. Now, if your kid is working on this aspiration, you can go and talk to people you're already friends with, and it will count as making friends because they previously had a friend. I don't think it counts with family members or members of your household, though. Yeah, see, Kathy is not counting. And now we're friends with two children, and we just have to introduce ourselves to this person over here uh, who may or may not count because I think this is a relative. But I th maybe the relatives count as long as you haven't met them yet, and they're not part of your household. All right, we're friends with three children. Now we just have to find two adults. Teenagers do not count for either one of these. And this is so easy to do without the photography hack as long as you have a tiny home. Okay, and there's one adult friend. I should go grab these lemons while I'm over here. And that was pretty easy to complete the social butterfly aspiration. So now we just have to complete mental, motor, and the multi-skilled one. Mental, we can't do anything because we needed to do our homework again. Motor, we need to be playful. 
Now, unfortunately, she's confident right now, which means I need to get at least a playful two. Maybe there is a painting or something. Oh, or do I have a DJ caddy or one of those little my sim things, the trophies? Of course not. Okay, the bubble bath is actually playful plus two. Good. And that finishes that step. Now we need to practice typing for four hours. Well, I think that's all we're going to have time for today. Although I think I might take a little break and use the body or take a feral poo. But anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.